I'm from the South Bronx, Bronx, New York. I live in the Bronx. I live in Manhattan. I'm from Harlem, New York. Um, I'm from the Bronx, New York, Baychester section in the Bronx. Tiara Bennett, the choices we made. It's about two high school students, Tramel and Maria, they're in a relationship and in the heat of the moment one night, they forget to use the condom while having sex and um, Maria ends up getting pregnant and it's about her decision. One of the things I really responded to in Tiara's story is that it's about a serious relationship, so it's a committed couple living together for three years and you don't sort of see that very often and they're really in love. and. Um, and you, you really see both sides because they have a different point of view on what happens when, when, when she gets pregnant. Tramel's character is basically a 17-year-old kid who wants the best for his girlfriend, Maria. And he's going through, like, difficult times with his mom, but he's trying to make the best out of it. He wants to show his parent, his mom, actually, that, you know, he can take on responsibilities. Just like your father did. That's your favorite line, huh? I am nothing like him. I'm the only one who's ever done anything for you. When are you gonna realize that? I will always be here for you, Mom. Maria is a character that I play, and she is a young, outgoing girl, very friendly, um, who is in a relationship with Tremel, been in a relationship for three years, and is com comes from a single family, single parent household. She's very, very close to her mother, and finds out later that she's pregnant. And it's hard for her to decide what to do. Um, fortunately, she has a really good friend by her side, Serenity, who helps her along the way, and her boyfriend, Tramel. But um, he, do he wants to have the baby. She doesn't really know, so it's sort of up in the air. Did you do it? Young men and women that if, like, think about the choices that you make throughout your life, because those are the choices that affect you. And in the end, watch the movie. Because <laughs> I can't really give it away. It's like, yeah, I can't give it away. Scenarios USA is a nonprofit organization that uses writing and filmmaking to uh, foster youth leadership and self expression in teens. Maura Minsky and I started Scenarios USA about um, nine years ago because we wanted to give young people access to the arts. Uh, we wanted to engage young people in writing and knowing that they had a story to tell. A lot of young people don't feel like anyone wants to hear the stories they have to tell, and we, we did want to hear. What we do is we ask young people to write stories or scripts about issues, social issues that impact their lives. The scripts from Scenarios USA's, the films that are produced, are written by teens and for teens. Because it's better than like an adult making a movie um, of what they heard about what teens do, instead of like an actual teen writing about something that they have they've had experience with you know in, in Hollywood or, or even most script writers are not in that generation they're not taking that perspective and uh, and this is a way to really tap into that and uh, and it's it's a great way to get great production value but still tap into a uh, the newest voice that there is oh my god that actually happens in school like when I went to high school I could actually like see myself in that situation and people who win the contest get partnered with feature filmmakers, Hollywood filmmakers, who make their story, help them make their stories into short films. The difference between the films that Scenarios produce and other films you normally see in classroom is that, you know, you won't go to sleep on it, you know, and um, for example, such as my film The Monster, was dealing with reality, three urban youth, uh, one of them's HIV positive, but he'd rather have his friends think he's a virgin. You know, one, one kid had this huge smile on his face all day long, I think he's like 13 years old, and uh, and someone was talking to him uh, uh, about the whole scenarios and what he thought about it. He's like, this is the best day ever. It's kind of like my, the best day of my life, actually. I just, and it just melted my heart, man. It just cracked me up. It's it it great. When my film comes out, I hope I can show it at my school and the film festival down there and just like be able to show all my friends, like, you know, I accomplished something. This is what I did. Behind the scenes people, how much work they really do. It's crazy, like the grips and the, the lighting and just to get the right light. It's like, ah, oh, that's like I would say, oh, 
Wow, like that's, you know, I wrote that, you know, those were my words coming to life.